Hello everyone, I'm Dan Wu from Dunmas College. I present Pachi Test Car, enabling touch and contextual interaction with a pocket based tactile sensor. This is the work I did last year at Microsoft Research as an intern. So let's begin with some motivation here. Pockets are something that we use every day to carry things like phone, car key, hand, and many other things. This information, if obtained by computing, can be very useful for many applications. But the problem is that the pocket, like the one we have on our pants or jacket, don't know their context of use. Imagine if the pocket can sense the things that people carry inside them. It can notify the user when they forget to take the hand sanitizer. And when the user puts a hand inside the pocket, the system can automatically switch the smartphone UI to support one-handed use. So in this work, our goal was to develop a wearable pocket-based tactile sensor that recognizes the object inside the pocket. We call it test car. Test car can also detect finger gesture for the user to interact with a smartwatch. And also detect the tactile object using NFC. This increases the recognition capability of a test car. Before I dive into the detail of this work, I would like to briefly go over some related work. So the first one is Testivo, a detective fabric that can recognize a different metallic object based on detective sensing. And here's the work I published last year at WIST. Enable the recognition of non-metallic objects on interactive fabric using capacitive sensing. Aside from them, precision sensing techniques have been also used on interactive fabric to recognize objects based on the contour of the object. Let's have seen another choice could be implemented on interactive fabric to recognize the object but with tag. So in our research, we integrate all these sensing techniques into one single package to develop an interactive pocket that is capable of sensing touch, pressure, and non-metallic metallic objects as well as tactile objects. Next, let me talk about how we implement the sensor. We develop a two-layer structure of the tactile sensor. The button layer comprises four overlapping embodied coils laid out for inductive and NFC sensing. And the top layer was made of a grid of conductive tactile electrode, sandwich pressure sensitive fabric, which are for pressure and the capacitive sensing. There are some technical challenges here, but I keep it brief. If you are interested in the detail, I encourage you to read our paper. Next, I would like to talk about how we use the pocket sensor to recognize different types of objects. So when an object is placed inside the pocket, its capacitance, pressure, and the inductance footprint of the contact area of the object are captured by the sensor. For each type of footprint, we extract 86 features, including shape related feature and material related feature. Then we feed all features along with the pressure data collected with all the presets of the object to render for this model, to use the same type of data to recognize the object inside the pocket. Here, the pressure data infer how tight the sensor was worn on the user body. Our system can also recognize finger gesture. Once the hand is detected, the system Perform the background subtraction to remove the steel pixel of the palm and then use the OpenCV proper detection to track the movement of the fingertip and its pressure. So to evaluate the accuracy of our implementation, we conduct a study with 10 participants. We test the system with hand and 10 objects made of different materials such as phone, airpods, key, phone hand sanitizer, empty hand sanitizer, wallet, wallet with coin, pen, car key, and multi-tool knife. We ask the participant to put each object into a pocket 10 times in a random order. And we found that the system achieved a within user accuracy of 92.3%. As one may image, there was an individual difference in the shape and diameter of people's size. This led to the variation in the footprint of the tested object. As such, we observed a decrease in the object recognition accuracy of 81.3%. Aside from object recognition, we also evaluated the performance of gesture recognition with four different gestures at two different pressure levels. We have an overall accuracy of 96.1%. Finally, we evaluate the robustness of our FC sensor with different tag position and distance to the sensor. We choose two common types of MC tag, car tag and key tag. Not that most of the testing locations were at the corner of the parking or the edge of the sensor. These are the place where the signal is the weakest. Here's the result. As you can see, at the near and medium distance, the tag detection works well, but at the far distance, the signal is weaker, so the sensor's rate drops quickly for the key tag. I would like to conclude our work with three take-home messages. First, we present a tactile sensor design fusing four sensing techniques for an interactive parking. Second, we present an interactive parking system that can sense user gesture input and recognize objects inside the pockets. In the end, we conduct a study to evaluate the sensing performance of our system, which showed that the object recognition accuracy can achieve 92% for personal model, but slightly decreased to 81% for general model. 
Thank you for listening. I'm happy to take any question.